If you open up any AI landing page builder right now and type create a SaaS landing page, I guarantee you'll get the same exact template that everyone else is getting. Hero section with generic headline, three feature boxes, testimonial carousel, and a CTA button that says get started. So in this video, I want to show you how to differentiate yourself, how to use AI to create a genuinely valuable, high converting landing page. And the difference between just the generic one and the high quality one is the quality of the prompting. I talk a lot here about the quality of prompt engineering being the most important thing and understanding the psychology behind what makes a good landing page and adding that into the prompt. And so the real problem that nobody's talking about is that rather than saying to AI, hey, ChatGPT, I'm a SaaS brand that works in the event space and I want a cool landing page, then you can, instead of doing that, you can prompt it with extremely high quality prompts. You can ask it to generate, you know, extensive style guides, you know, copy optimization guides, landing page guides. And so if you look here, you can see that um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this landing page. We have deep research prompts. We have visual style guide prompts. We have AB variation testing prompts. Basically, the higher the quality, the prompting, the higher quality, the output. So we put together, you know, a bunch of different prompts here to get a high quality output. And this is called chain prompting. We're using the first prompt to create an in-depth research guide. Then we're using that research guide to inform and improve our landing page generation prompt. Then we're using that landing page prompt to improve the copy to the style guide and we're just taking it one step at a time you know even as ai is getting better and better and better it's still a good idea to batch your prompts and give the ai one specific objective for each prompt most people ask the ai to do too much if it's like hey i create my entire landing page well it has to figure out copy a b testing style guides visual you know front end there's so many different things but if you can say Here's the object, exact objective. Here's a bunch of market research. Help me define the exact parameters that will turn into a landing page. Cool, here's the exact parameters that will turn into a landing page. Use this specific copywriting principle using some sort of copywriting pro, Gary Halbert, David Ogilvie. There's a lot of like world-class copywriters that have written books. You can take that and be like, this is my specific market parameters. Let me... You know, go and generate a very, very specific um, output. And so that's exactly what we're going to do today here. So when I have an extremely high quality prompt, the output is that much higher quality, right? So rather than just saying, build me a generic SaaS, like B2B SaaS landing page template, now we can see it's taking all this information from me and it's asking me, what is the product service specifically? Who is your audience? It's going deeper into my market. And then it's using all these different copywriting principles from Schwartz to, you know, the awareness levels, gradualization, you know, building a belief through a logical sequence, start with what they already believe, add one claim they can accept, prove it, advance to the next claim, you know, like this, the identification trigger, Hopkins and David Ogilvy. You know, and you can start seeing that it's building out this comprehensive template, but it's not just a random template. It's like based on the best practices of the industry. So now the next thing we'll do is as we go through this prompt, we'll define all these different things for AI and we'll just keep stacking these prompts until the output is phenomenal and it's world class. So we're basically using this series of prompts right here. So if I go to the landing page generation prompt, Basically, what I'm doing is, um, one second, what I'm doing here is I'm taking this landing page generation prompt and I am giving this to the last, like feeding in the information from the last output. So I'm saying like for my specific company, we're a software company where we're targeting lead generation agencies, giving them a tool that does all the lead gen work for them. We're also targeting SDRs, account execs, trying to place, replace those roles with AI. So I could probably create a couple different ones here, but you see just with two prompts in like very specific prompting, we say turn your 20 hour lead gen grind and two hours of oversight the first fully autonomous lead generation systems that finds, qualifies, engages while you focus on closing deals, split screen dashboard mock-up showing left before and after, you know, uh, two minute assessment, no credit card required, logo of agencies trusted by 200 agencies, average agency saves 84 hours per month. So you can start seeing, you know, 
the different aspects of this landing page and how specific this is with social proof, with differentiation, um, FAQs, and it's basically building out the entire landing page for us, but it's also showing us this distinct psychological principles and triggers behind each of the things. So it's not just like, here is your your prompt, right? It's here's exactly why each of these design principles were made within the landing page. So now if I go over here to the copy optimization prompt, we have a pretty solid you know, input here. I'm gonna go and I'm going to copy this in. Um, all these prompts will be in the community linked below. So now I added in the copy improvement. We can see that it's giving us various different ideas. Stop hunting leads, start closing deals. You know, there's different variations of how we could build this out. And, you know, I never like understanding copywriting is always important. And, you know, if you don't understand copywriting, use AI. It Give it, you know, copywriting books and then have it like this project that we're in right now. This has a bunch of books where you can add in where it's like a bunch of copywriting principles. And I use this project consistently to say, teach me about these different copywriting principles. Why do they work? How do they apply to my situation? So you always want to have some level of understanding of copywriting. Otherwise, you're just kind of shooting in the dark. Um, although these prompts can get you really, really close and you can use these. And if you don't understand, you can say, you know, why did you make the decision for this headline? You know, and you can start critiquing it. But you can see that here's another variation of, you know, what we can do in the exact reasons for each of these, you know, and I can go in here and just continue refining and refining and refining this. So now if I go to the visual style guide prompt, I can then take this copy and then I can add it into something like Lovable, something like Framer, something like Webflow. Um, a lot of my websites have been built on uh, web, uh, Webflow and Framer. The thing that I love about Framer is they have some insanely beautiful um, templates. So if you go here to Framer templates, this is what I recommend. Like if you use Lovable, it's going to give you a pretty solid output and you can refine that. Um, but it's not going to be like world class. Whereas if you go to something like this, you could say, hey, I want like a business landing page and you could get something that looks like, you know, this. Let's just look at Landio here. Let's just use look at this template, preview it. Basically, you can get this free template and like look at how high quality this is. It looks absolutely stunning, right? And this isn't even the best example. Like there's there's others on here that are just incredibly stunning. You know, like let's say you want to build and you have to look for the right ones like a landing page. But let's say you're building like a software company. You want to build a landing page for that software company. Um, you know, maybe you're building a crypto software company. It would not recommend that. <laughs> but, you know, see, look at this. Take control of your digital assets, a nice dashboard. It's a very, very nice looking website. Now, if you just create the stock thing inside of, you know, Lovable, you're never going to get something that looks this good, right? You can just duplicate this and then you can just take the output from here you can just copy and paste the, the specific um, things that you want directly into here so you can have this updated but all of the content is from Claude right so let's go back here to the landing page prompts the visual style guide maybe I want to improve the style guide here um, I'm gonna paste this down here so we can take and like create a style guide from this copy so after I copied that prompt in here, you can see we're, you know, refining the style guide, the visual prim principles, the brand attributes. We're getting a specific hex color codes in here so that they all kind of fit together in a coherent way for mobile as well. You can see once we run through each of these prompts, then, you know, by the time we get to the bottom here, we have a coherent, you know, landing page, right? So I'm going to show you what output we can get in lovable and I'll show you exactly how we can build it and then we can use that and we can you know make it look more visually appealing by using something like framer or webflow and so here we are I basically just asked Claude now build it using code and create a tot create the mock-up as an artifact and you can see you know I don't think this is the best looking landing page in the world but you can see that the structure you can start visualizing the structure you can start visualizing all of this stuff right and so if I look here, you know, stop hunting deals, start closing leads, 127 qualified conversions monthly, two hours of work weekly, zero hiring, show me my next 30 leads, you know, and then it's, you know, uh, quote here, some sort of graphics showing them. So all, using all of these copywriting principles, 
you can see that the landing page has been fully built inside of Claude. And now what we can do is we can use this schema as a way to develop a more high quality looking landing page. But this is like how we're going back and forth with Claude, right? So we're going and we're having Claude like sketch up our ideas and help us visualize stuff rapidly. Now, on the other hand, I'm also having Lovable I basically just pasted the style guide with the um, copy directly into Lovable here. And we're going to watch Lovable, you know, create a slightly higher quality version of this same landing page. And we can start working with Lovable to refine this, to get, you know, design ideas and design choices. Um, and then once we really refine and build out this Lovable, you know, landing page, we can say, cool, I really like all these components, you know, and we're refining it. And then we can basically go and copy and paste and get something very similar to that using something like Framer or Webflow. So my website, smartscalingai.com, built entirely using Webflow. And you can see it looks pretty high quality. You know, we have the headline here. We have different sections. You can go to the About Us. It's taking a little while to load because my internet's slow. But you can see like how it works, kickoff call, documentation, case studies, different types of companies that we've worked with, um, and then FAQs and all this stuff. And so you can see here that um, this is all built using Webflow. So I'm gonna let this run and we're gonna see what Lovable generates with their new GPT-5 integration um, such that we can really see with a couple prompts from Claude what the quality of the output is using a level so you can see the first iteration stop hunting deals start closing leads agency autopilot features pricing case study resources here um, not bad pretty solid stuff um, and basically it said here you know ready to continue with sections three to eight when you are so it just built the first part um, now i'll just say yes continue and code all of the sections up to section eight make sure to follow the style guide verbatim i can even go over here to claude and i could take some more of the style guide here so i think i gave it this style guide i could give it even more so this is like with all of the headlines and everything i could give it more specific you know stylistic elements here mobile optimization that sort of stuff um, and so I'm just going to give it the style guide again so that it's front and center. And then I told it to finish sections three to eight. So it's going to go in here. It's going to complete this and I will, you know, resume this once this completes, it'll probably take around five minutes. So as I was building this out inside of lovable, lovable kept, um, it just gives me the same kind of old thing. So I want to show you now, if we go over here into framer, so I'm at framer.com. Now what I can do here is I can click, you know, create a new project, you know, create a new account, create a new project. And the quality of the framer output is a lot higher quality than Lovable. Lovable is the most popular one. Everyone's going to use it. But if you go to Framer, you click create new. They have this uh, create a wireframe section um, using AI. And basically because they started out not as a coding tool, but as a, you know, basically a tool for generating landing pages and creating websites they have all of the components that are really high quality so like it gives us this initially you know and then it will ask us a couple things after this so it's like do you want to improve the cta do you want to add a testimonial so let's say add a comparison table you know and i can just keep like accepting its suggestions and you can see here that it's going to you know start generating various different components here comparison sections so i'm going to go here um add testimonial you can see it's going to like put a testimonial in you know it looks pretty solid not bad and so we can keep you know giving it design level decisions but because it's initially a website builder it's a lot more customizable you can see here the customizability is just much much higher much much higher so now if i go back to dashboard i'm not going to save the changes because i had a couple different projects like this i'm going to click new project it's going to give me a blank slate and then like i said before what we can do is we can you know use templates so let's say i want to insert a 
template so we have like different things that we can add in here that look pretty solid um, and then basically what we're going to do so what we can do here is create truly incredible websites and landing pages using the templates and using the wireframe or feature so let's say i go to browse templates here let me find like a really high quality template landing page for free you know so maybe i just focus on the landing page all right so we have lander os landon you know what type of landing page do we want to use here this one looks pretty solid if you're focused this one looks not bad not bad not bad so let's say i want to use this one looks pretty good so you know a dark landing page website template it looks pretty good for like a tech-based company so i'm going to click use for free and then i'm going to click copy and now that we're using this we're copying this in and then i can basically take the different stuff that i learned from cloud projects here that i created on cloud projects so let me go and focus mainly on the copy sections so let me scroll up all right so here's the copy faq i can can either manually copy and paste this in or I can add this in here so you see elevate your brand's online business with this template go to the wireframer and I'm just gonna say update the copy with the following text so you can see boom it's building all this out the different deal sizes etc etc um, so either you have the AI build it or you use the template and you just copy and paste it in there um, but you can see how how incredibly high quality this is I can't say it enough times as you may have noticed I can't say it enough times where you know let other people do the difficult design work for you there's literally thousands of templates out there if you let other people do the difficult design work you can just use AI to become your copywriter, right? So here's another one, for example, this one's also great, also really, you know, great for agencies, for software companies. So it's like, if I, if I know how to use AI to become a world-class copywriter, I can go in here, use a template, and then boom, I'm gonna have a extremely world-class, you know, thing here, right? So the headline, stop hunting leads, start closing deals, you know, maybe I put that right there, 125 quality conversations maybe i put that right there live dashboard meetings booked per week you know maybe i do something like this uh this one's probably better maybe i do something like this live dashboard you know maybe i add that in and then show me my next 30 leads that's the cta maybe i just change that to a cta button you can see it's all the different styles of the buttons. So maybe I want to change the text here. You know, go change the text. And boom, maybe I want to delete the book of demo. So it's just this as the main one. And now, like, let's say I publish this, it's probably going to ask me to sign up and start subscribing. But you can see, like, you just change all the text here. And let me wait for this to publish. But you can see, like, look at, look at this website, guys. You couldn't make a better one in Figma, even if you were, even if you tried. <laughs> so we're publishing this, you know, here's our app. So now I'm gonna go to this link. It's not live on any domain that I've hosted, but it's just a link to show you what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna let this load here. The link is just, you know, whatever they generated. And look at this, stop hunting leads, start closing deals. Show me my next 30 leads. You know, I'd probably have to update that, you know, live dashboard, distinguish yourself, business data solutions, boost sales, why choose us, you know, loved by thinkers, et cetera, et cetera. And so this is exactly what you can do when you learn how to use AI to create really high quality landing pages.